Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Breaking news coming out of Croatia, where within the last 30 minutes has been a large 6.4 magnitude earthquake. And that 6.4 was very shallow, coming in at 10 kilometers. That would be around 6.2 miles deep. And as you can see here on the USGS map, it is not on or really anywhere near a fault line. You can see a fault line running through Italy, uh, along the eastern coast of Italy, and then down into the Mediterranean and then through North Africa. Where the quake occurred, no fault lines. And the quake occurred near a densely populated area. You can see the 6.4 right there. There was a 5.2 earlier within the last 24 to 48 hours. 6.4 followed. That just occurred. And that would have been felt by hundreds, if not thousands of people. Because once again, that's a densely populated area in there. The seismographs, again, it's a little early, but uh, for the energy to show up on the seismos, sometimes it's a, a little bit delayed, which is understandable. But you can see here in Norway, go back to the map, Norway responded almost instantly when the quake occurred. Norway's right up here. Go back to the, the seismos, you can see some energy appeared in Armenia right there. That is a direct result from the primary wave of the 6.4 magnitude quake that was very shallow. There was another seismo over here in Turkey. That's from the 6.4, responded immediately. Go back to the map, you can see Turkey's to the southeast, Norway's to the north, slightly northwest. It was also picked up on a seismo in Armenia, and I'm sure other seismos will follow suit that are in the area, and more and more of the seismos will start to show a black signature from the large. Here's another one here. That's the one I showed you earlier, Norway. And you can see that's a pretty significant spike occurring within a matter of less than five minutes. That thing went straight vertical. So I wouldn't be surprised if this earthquake weren't maybe upgraded to a, a 6.5 possibly. 6.4 is a very respectable quake. And if you felt the quake, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're over in Austria, um, even Switzerland, you may have felt that quake as well. Romania, again, not being on a fault line. And, and here's the thing, I've done videos many times in the past about the gas giants and large earthquakes on planet Earth. You guys all well know we had a great conjunction back on December 21st of two of our gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. Well, now they're, they're pulling away from each other. And I'm going to show you something on a solar system app that, that I've used for years. And I, I follow the, the position of the planets. I always kind of know where our neighbors are at. And I've noticed a trend over the years. This isn't something that I, that I just concluded, you know, in a couple of days. I mean, I've been following this for, for probably close to 10 years. Now, I'm going to open up an app that, that I've used, like I said, for a long time. And I've noticed a trend. Is it perfect? No, not, not, not by any stretch of the imagination. But I have noticed what I would call more than a coincidence when Jupiter and Saturn are occupying the same cosmic turf, like you see here, Jupiter and Saturn are over here, obviously in a near alignment now. They're starting to slowly move away from each other. And you've got Earth and then the Sun in between Jupiter and Saturn off to the right. And to me, that's a conductor that creates what I call a conductor of energy, a conductor of resonance. And all of the planets, especially the gas giants, put off a strong resonance. And when they're in this configuration, and I'm talking just to the right or just to the left of one another, that's when I've noticed the larger quakes on Earth. Is it a guarantee? No, of course not. But I've noticed more times than not a pattern or, or a trend and I'm talking Neptune and Uranus also included in this when they are occupying the same side of the solar system when they align not necessarily in a straight line it's always slightly off center just like you're seeing right now Jupiter is slowly pulling away from Saturn and don't be surprised if we see more larger earthquakes on Earth here in the coming days and earthquakes in diverse places. That too is something that 
we'll have to keep a close eye out for. It probably will occur. Hopefully, everything turned out okay over here in Croatia. But as these planets start to slowly separate, I think we'll see more large earthquakes on Earth. This one's a respectable quake. Like I said earlier, in a densely populated area. There's a lot of people right here, and I'm sure all of those people felt that earthquake today over in Croatia. Looking at the seismos, once again, I want to refresh the seismos. That's the one in Turkey, I'm sure uh, Serbia, Hungary, uh, Austria. Can't find any seismos in those areas. I have to work with what I have available to me here, and I'm scrolling down through. Okay, here's one here that picked up the, the energy. Totally obvious. This one's in St. George. That's in Bermuda. See? Bermuda picked it up. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, here's a... See, look at Turkey. I just refreshed it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't upgraded to, to maybe a 6.5. Energy starting to flow around the planet from that primary wave. There you go. Ethiopia. And here's there's Armenia. And that's fairly close to the area. Look at here. This is Massachusetts in the United States. Look at that signature. That is a tall boy. That, that, that reaches the top of the charts. That's what I call it. It's just some lingo I use. When it reaches the top of the chart, you know it's a strong quake. That's in Massachusetts, several thousand miles away. And look, look at Finland. That's a strong quake, guys. Very shallow, strong quake. Don't be surprised if that's not upgraded to a, a 6.5, uh, quite possibly a 6.6. .6. I don't know what the criteria is that, that the experts use at the USGS, but looking at the, the signature on these seismos, and you can tell, see we're down here at the 30 minute mark, going over here to 60 minute, this is just in the last 30 minutes. That's 30 minutes worth of data. Started out very strong, and, and the reason for that is because it was so shallow. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, here's another one here, Canary Islands even picking up the, the energy from the 6.4. Let's scroll down, here's some more, Greenland, big tall signature up in Greenland, wow, Mongolia, multiple seismos around the world feeling the energy from that very large 6.4. Here we go, look at New York, New York. There you go. Reach the top of the graph. New Hampshire. The whole upper, looks like the whole upper northeast of the U.S. Reach the top of the graph. And I'm sure there's more. Look at here. Maine. Top of the graph. That is incredible. And you can see a little bit of energy even out here in Arizona. Not much, but the primary wave made it all the way out here to Arizona. If you go back and look, there hasn't been any aftershocks as of yet. And since that icon is still red, that means it occurred within the last hour. But if you go laterally across the map, you can see over here, pretty much parallel with New York and Philadelphia, that's where the primary wave energy traveled right across here into the upper northeast and it showed up on the seismos pretty respectively like it was in the neighborhood that was a strong quake very shallow quake and that energy has traveled a few thousand miles all the way across the atlantic being picked up on seismographs in the upper northeastern part of the united states and i wouldn't be surprised if that weren't upgraded a little bit let's just see here at google earth how many miles away i mean that's on the other side of the globe. Let's just measure real quick while we're here at Google Earth. Just for perspective purposes, we'll see how many miles that is from Armenia. You're looking at over 4,400 miles, and that's approximate. Somewhere in that neighborhood, that energy traveled in less than 30 minutes. Looking at the New York seismo, uh, let's see what it looks like. How quickly it got to New York. Greenland picked up a, a super strong signature. We're going to find New York and just see how quick it traveled. There you go. New York. Quake occurred in here. So it took about 15 minutes to reach the New York seismograph. And then strongly, you know, like I said, it peaked out at the top of the graph. There's another one, New Hampshire. So it took about 15 minutes to travel 
4,400 miles. So once again, a, a large, very respectable 6.4 magnitude earthquake over in Croatia in a populated area. I'm sure all of these people in that area felt it very strongly. That was a shallow quake. If you're in that area and you felt the earthquake, please leave a comment and, and let us know uh, what it felt like if you're in this area. That was not on a fault line, and that was a very shallow quake once again in Croatia. And look for more as the gas giants continue to slowly separate. We'll probably see more large quakes here on planet Earth and earthquakes in diverse places. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.